All right, at this point, I'm going to basically teach you guys about negatives and positives and, um, you know, multiplying this stuff out. And I'll be honest with you, I'm, I'm kind of tired of these tiles. They're, they're, they're kind of, um, how do I say, they're annoying. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through with this distributive property thing that I'm talking about. Now, one of the ways you can kind of think of this is for this one, you can kind of think of this distribute or this thing as x times x. This x is being multiplied by the quantity that's inside here, everything inside that parentheses. When you learn order of operation, you did the please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, and so, so you learn to do what's inside the parentheses first. Now, there can be nothing, nothing can be done inside the parentheses. x minus 2 is x minus 2, that's its simplest form. So now we move on to multiplication, and we want to multiply this x by everything inside here. So this is x, and this is x over here. So um, I can kind of look at this as, well, that's x times x, which is x squared. And this is negative 2. I kind of like, t instead of subtracting, I like adding a negative number. I It basically helps me keep that negative with that 2, so I can associate those two together. So this is x times negative 2, which is negative 2x. So really what I'm looking at here is x squared minus 2x. This is a quadratic function. Now, this on the other hand, we use the tiles. And um, I'm not a big fan of these tiles. I'm going to show you one way to do it, and then I'll show you another way to do it. But uh, l let's do this. I want to multiply x minus 2 times x plus 3. Basically, I want to get every this thing, the first one, to meet everything inside of here. All right, x minus 2 times x plus 3. Now, when this was something like x times x plus 3, we simply took this first thing and we introduced him to everything inside. I basically want to do the same thing. It's just instead of the first term being just an x, the first term is a parenthesis. Here's what I mean. Basically, I want to take this parenthesis and introduce him to the x. And I also want to take that parenthesis and introduce him to the 3. Does that make sense? Now, what is in the parenthesis? Well, that's x minus 2. And this is x minus 2. That was what was in the parenthesis. So now what I'm doing is I'm making sure that this x gets introduced to everything inside here, and also the 3. So x times x, that would be x squared. The negative 2 times x, that would be negative 2x. I'll put a big fat plus sign in between there. That would be that guy. Now I'm going to introduce in the 3. This is 3x. And the negative 2 times 3, that's negative 6. So I made sure that this thing right here was introduced to everybody in here. And then when I see this expression, it tells me I have to distribute that as well. So now I collect my like terms. The like terms in this case is negative 2x and 3x because x squared and negative 6, those aren't alike. Um, so I have x squared. What is negative 2x plus 3x? That's simply negative 2 plus 3 is positive 1, so that would be plus 1x, also known as x. And then the minus 6, you can just fact, or drop out that minus 6 out in, in the back. And we have a trinomial where we actually multiplied all these together. I kind of did that without using the tiles. So this is x squared minus 2x, 3x, minus 6. So your answer is x squared plus x minus 6. <laughs> all right, cool. I hope that kind of made sense to you. I'll do the, the problem again. I'm going to introduce the x minus 4 to everyone over here. So I'll introduce him to x, and I'll introduce it to that one. So this is x minus 4 times x. There's a big subtraction sign in between. And then there's the x minus 4 
times 1. Uh, now I'm going to distribute this thing in. So I have x squared minus 4x, a big subtraction sign and a parentheses, x minus 4. Now uh, I'm, I just left it as x minus 4 because I multiplied by 1 and that didn't change anything. However, the thing you have to be careful with this problem is, see this negative over here? This negative over here, when you have a negative in front of a parenthesis, I've been kind of lazy because we've had positives in front of the parenthesis, and I've just dropped the parentheses. <coughs> in this case, I have a negative in front of the parentheses. I can't just drop the parentheses. I have to make sure that negative gets distributed out to over here. So I can kind of think of this as, remember how I told you I like, instead of subtracting, I like doing plus negative. And then what I'll do is I'll do x squared minus 4x plus negative x plus 4. The reason I have negative x is because this negative got distributed over here. It also got distributed to this negative 4, which changed into a positive 4. So now what I have is x squared, combining the like terms and the stuff in the middle, is x squared minus 5x plus 4. I hope this makes sense to you. I know it's a little bit confusing, but um, yeah, try to do it without the tiles. If you want, you can still use the tiles, but eventually you're going to see my way. <laughs>